I think I just had a major score at my local online auction that was taking place. Just went off last night, and I picked up a huge binder full of Elvis trading cards. And to start off, they just look like basic cards, uh, essential Elvis cards, really nothing to brag about first few pages and then there's these that are like hologram cards refractor cards I'm still trying to research pretty much everything in this book I'm not that familiar with the Elvis stuff or like celebrity cards more of the sports card stuff is my thing but and I don't know what how much the value increases with these I cannot exactly find that information yet I'm still in the learning process here Quite a few of these refractor cards, though. But then we get into some crazy good stuff. So there's tons of autographs in this book. Here's Mary Tyler Moore, Julie Adams, different people that he's been in movies with, Marlon Mason. And these are from Press Pass, is the company. That puts these things out and a lot of these like in these pages uh, this one I took out I'm actually already getting ready to list some of these cards but you have the base card and then you have uh, this one's numbered out of 50 and this one's numbered out of a hundred there's a lot of them like that Mary Tyler Moore, these two are gone, so I don't know where they went. Before I got them, they were gone. But this one I've seen sell on eBay for 100 bucks. that one alone. These are selling 20 to 30 a piece, maybe a little bit more. Here's Nancy Sinatra. That's big money, 30 bucks a piece for this card, not the 50 or the number to 100. That is increasing you know, 20 to $30 probably each step of the way. Barbara Eden, I Dream of Jeannie. She's in here. This woman named Pat Priest. Cards in here. Then there's price tags on the back, so I don't know if that's the price that this person paid for them. It's got to be, I'm assuming, which seems a little bit high by today's standards, so maybe they did come down a little bit. Um... Maybe they worked out a deal for this whole book. I'm not sure how this person acquired all these. Marianne Mobley. Here's Yvonne Craig. Some of these, I like I said, some of these I have taken out, but not, not many. George Kalinske. This is an artist proof. So this George Kalinske was an artist, took pictures of Elvis. So his signature is here. Same with this guy. Here's a unique card, Essential Elvis. On the back, I mean, it says $200. Um, it's, it's Essential Sketches, numbered out of just 20. Here's some of the same autographs that were on before. Blue ink, now these, a lot of them are red ink. James Burton, more Nancy Sinatra. And it just goes on and on DJ Fontana James Burton this guy George Klein anybody that seems like they were in a movie with him um, is in this set then we get some different cards uh, material cards essential materials a lot of these are numbered these aren't numbered this one's out of 49 this one's out of 199. These are incredible. These three different swatches of his clothes that he actually wore. This is numbered out of 25. This one's numbered out of 199. This one's out of 25. A couple more like that numbered out of 299 and of 25 the cream of the crop though i do believe 
is these right here. Priscilla Presley autograph cards. This one I've seen sell for 120. This one I haven't seen anything on. It's numbered to only 25, so that is crazy good. Here's three gigantic swatch cards, Elvis cards. Here's some, you know, facsimile, fake autos, cut autos. Here's some other gigantic um, swatches. Here's an awesome card from Topps. A piece of American Pie. Here's another one, a different kind. This one's gone, unfortunately. Never got that one, but this one says one of one, so I'm not sure if that's true or not. But um, Here's some music cards. We got Elton John and Bruce Springsteen. These say one of one. I'm not sure if that's a real deal or if they're fake. I think they're kind of phony. These seem really cool. Um, and then in the back they have, it's almost like they've been graded. They give those, um, just like you get from PSA or SGC or something listed here. The numbers are incredible. This one, I mean, $300 for that card. So and this one's $400. So I don't know how close to reality that is. I'm finding nothing on eBay. For this stuff and then these are just kind of really nothing but 350 is what I pay for the whole thing man if I don't get you know well over a thousand dollars back then I am stupid this should be uh this is just a no-brainer um, easy stuff So that is the deal of the day. Probably, hopefully, probably, hopefully, the biggest deal I've ever come across. Money-wise, I mean, I don't know, over a thousand for sure. If if I fifteen hundred, I think is a possibility here. So, if you guys know about Elvis cards or have any or any history with them comment about it and uh, give me a thumbs up on this video and we will catch you next time see ya